ഹലോ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് നിങ്ങൾക്കിത് നിങ്ങൾക്കിത് ഏത് കൺട്രിയുടെ ഫ്ലാഗ് ആണെന്നറിയാമോ യെസ് ഇത് കുവൈറ്റിന്റെ ഫ്ലാഗ് ആണ് എന്നാ ഈ ഫ്ലാഗിനെ പോലെ തന്നെ വേറൊരു ഫ്ലാഗിനെ കുറിച്ച് പറയാൻ ഞാൻ ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നു ഇത് ഏത് കൺട്രിയുടെ ഫ്ലാഗ് ആണ് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് അറിയാമോ വലിയ ചേട്ടന്മാരും ചേച്ചിമാരും പല പ്രാവശ്യം സൺഡ് സ്കൂളിൽ കേട്ടിട്ടുണ്ടെന്ന് എനിക്കറിയാം എന്നിരുന്നാലും എന്റെ കൊച്ചു കൂട്ടുകാർക്ക് വേണ്ടി ഇതിനെ കുറിച്ച് പറയാൻ ഞാൻ ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നു ഇതിനകത്ത് എത്ര കോളേഴ്സ് ഉണ്ട് വൺ ടു ത്രീ ഫോർ ഫൈവ് ഈ ഫൈവ് ഡിഫറെന്റ് കളേഴ്സിനും ഫൈവ് ഡിഫറെന്റ് മീനിങ്സ് ഉണ്ട് ഇന്ത്യൻ ഫ്ലാഗിന് ഡിഫറെന്റ് കളേഴ്സിന് ഡിഫറെന്റ് മീനിങ്സ് ഉള്ളത് പോലെ ഈ ഫ്ലാഗിന്റെ ഡിഫറെന്റ് കളേഴ്സിനും ഡിഫറെന്റ് മീനിങ്സ് ഉണ്ട് ഫസ്റ്റ് കളർ ഗോൾഡൻ കളർ ഗോൾഡൻ കളറിനെ കുറിച്ച് ചിന്തിക്കുമ്പോ ഫേസ്റ്റ് തിങ് എന്താ നമ്മുടെ മൈൻഡ് വരുന്നേ യെസ് ഗോൾഡ് മാല വള കമ്മൽ ഇതൊക്കെ അല്ലേ പക്ഷെ ഞാനാണെങ്കിൽ ഗോൾഡൻ കളറിനെ കുറിച്ച് ചിന്തിക്കുമ്പോ ഫേസ്റ്റ് തിങ് എന്റെ മൈൻഡ് വരുന്ന ഹെവന നിങ്ങൾക്കറിയാമോ ബൈബിളിൽ പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ട് ഹെവനിൽ ഗോൾഡൻ സ്ട്രീറ്റ്സ് ആന്ന് പക്ഷെ ഈ ഗോൾഡൻ സ്ട്രീറ്റ്സ് ഒന്നും അല്ല ഹെവനിനെ ഒത്തിരി സ്പെഷ്യൽ ആക്കുന്നത് ഹെവനിനെ ഒത്തിരി സ്പെഷ്യൽ ആക്കുന്ന ഗോഡ് അവിടെ ലിവ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് കൊണ്ടാ ഗോഡ് ആരാ ഗോഡ് നമ്മുടെ ക്രിയേറ്റർ ആണ് ഗോഡ് ആണ് എന്നെയും നിങ്ങളെ എല്ലാവരും ക്രിയേറ്റ് ചെയ്തത് ഗോഡ് ഒരു ലവിങ് ഗോഡ് ആണ് ഗോഡ് ഒരു ഹോളി ഗോഡ് ആണ് അങ്ങനെ കൊറേ ക്യാരക്ടറിസ്റ്റിക്സ് ഉണ്ട് ഗോഡിന് ഗോഡ് ആ ഫസ്റ്റ് മാൻ ആഡമിനെ ക്രിയേറ്റ് ചെയ്തു എന്നിട്ട് ഗോഡിന്റെ ലൈഫ് ആഡമിന് ബ്ലൂ ചെയ്തു കൊടുത്തു ആഡം ഗോഡിനെ പോലെ തന്നെ ഹോളി ആയിരുന്നു പക്ഷെ ാണ് റെപ്രസെന്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് സിൻ എന്തുവാ മോഷ്ടിക്കുന്ന സിന്നാണ് ജലസി സിന്നാണ് കളം പറയുന്ന സിന്നാണ് അങ്ങനെ ഒത്തിരി ലിസ്റ്റ് നമുക്ക് സിന്നിന് ആഡ് ചെയ്യാം പക്ഷെ ൊരു ഡെഫിനേഷൻ സിനിമ കൊടുക്കാം എനിത്തേ ദാറ്റ് വി തിങ്ക് ദാറ്റ് വി സേ ഓർ ദാറ്റ് വി ഡു ദാറ്റ് മേക്സ് ഗോഡ് സാസ് ഈ ഭൂമിയില് സിൻ വന്നത് ആഡം നമ്മുടെ ഗ്രേ ഗ്രേ ഗ്രാൻഡ് ഫാദർ സിൻ ചെയ്തതുകൊണ്ട് നമ്മൾ നമ്മളൊക്കെ ആഡത്തിന്റെ ഗ്രേ ഗ്രാൻഡ് ചിൽഡ്രൻ ആണ് അതുകൊണ്ട് നമ്മൾ സിന്നേഴ്സ് ആണ് നമ്മൾ നമ്മൾ ഇപ്പോഴും സിൻ ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് ഈ സിന്നിന് ഒരു പണിഷ്മെന്റ് ഉണ്ട് എൻ റോമൻ സിക്സ് ട്വന്റി ത്രീ ഇറ്റ് സേസ് ഫോർ ദ വേജസ് ഓഫ് സിൻ ഇസ് ഡെത്ത് വിച്ച് മീൻസ് സെപ്പറേഷൻ ഫ്രം ഗോഡ് അപ്പം ആഡം ആഡം സിൻ ചെയ്തപ്പോ ആഡം ഗോഡിന്റെ അടുത്ത് സെപ്പറേറ്റഡ് ആയിരുന്നു പക്ഷെ ഗോഡ് നമ്മളെ അങ്ങനെ പോകാൻ സമ്മതിച്ചില്ല ഗോഡിനൊരു പ്ലാൻ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു ദിസ് ടേക്സ് ടു ദി നെക്സ്റ്റ് കളർ റെഡ് റെഡിനെ കുറിച്ച് ചിന്തിക്കുമ്പോ ഫസ്റ്റ് തിങ് നമ്മുടെ മൈൻഡിൽ വരുന്ന നമ്മുടെ ബ്ലഡ് ആണ് അല്ലേ ഗോഡ് ഗോഡിന്റെ ഓൺ സൺ ജീസസിനെ ഈ വേൾഡിലോട്ട് വിട്ടിട്ട് വിട്ടു നമ്മൾക്ക് വേണ്ടി മരിക്കാൻ ജീസസ് കെയിം ആസ് എ നോർമൽ മാൻ ടു ദി ഏർത്ത് ആൻഡ് ഡൈറ്റ് ഫോർ ഓസ് ഓൺ ദ്രോസ് ആൻഡ് ഷെഡ് ഇസ് ബ്ലഡ് ഇൻ ഹീബ്രൂസ് നയൻ ട്വന്റി ടു ഇറ്റ് സേസ് വിത്തൌട്ട് ഷെഡിങ് ഓഫ് ബ്ലഡ് ദർ ഇസ് നോ റിഡംഷൻ ഫ്രം സിൻ അതുകൊണ്ട് ജീസസ് നമുക്ക് വേണ്ടി ക്രോസിൽ മരിച്ചു നമ്മുടെ പണിഷ്മെന്റ് എടുത്തു പിന്നെ ബറീഡായിരുന്നു തേർഡ് ഡേ ജീസസ് റോസ് ചെയ്തു ഇപ്പം ജീസസ് ഹെവനിലാണ് നമുക്കൊരു പ്ലേസ് പ്രിപ്പയർ ചെയ്യുവാണ് എൻ ഫസ്റ്റ് കൊറന്തീൻസ് തേർട്ടീൻ വേസ് ഫിഫ്റ്റീൻ വേസ് ത്രീ ആൻഡ് ഫോർ ഇറ്റ് സേസ് ക്രൈസ്റ്റ് ഡയറ്റ് ഫോർ അവർ സിൻ ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് വാസ് ബറീഡ് ദാറ്റ് വാസ് റീഡ് ലേറ്റർ അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു ദ സ്ക്രിപ്റ്റേഴ്സ് because of what jesus did on the cross we have forgiveness and redemption this takes us to the next color white in white invitation for pure heart ne aanu represent cheyane in namukku cheyan ottoru kaari ullu ee invitation ne accept cheyanam in john 1 verse 12 it says some however did receive him and believed in him so he gave them the right to become god's children നമ്മൾ എങ്ങനെ ഗോഡിന്റെ ചിൽഡ്രൻ ആവുന്നത് നമ്മൾ സൺഡ് സ്കൂളിൽ പഠിച്ച എ ബി സി എ ഫോർ എക്സെപ്റ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഐ മസ്റ്റ് ബി ഫോർ ബിലീവ് ദാറ്റ് ജീസസ് ദാറ്റ് ഫോർ മീ ഓൺ ദ ക്
ഓൾസോ കൺഫസ് ആൻഡ് കമ്മിറ്റ് അവർ ലൈഫ് ടു ജീസസ് നമ്മൾ ഗോഡിന്റെ ചിൽഡ്രൻ ആകുമ്പോ ഗോഡ് ഒരു പ്രോമിസ് തന്നിട്ടുണ്ട് എൻ ഹീബ്രൂസ് തേർട്ടീൻ വസ് ഫൈവ് ഐ വിൽ നെവർ ലീവ് യു നോർ ഫസേക് യു നമ്മൾ ഗോഡിന്റെ ചിൽഡ്രൻ ആകുമ്പോ ഗോഡിന് നമ്മളെ വെൻ വി ബിക്കം ഗോഡ് ചിൽഡ്രൻ ഹി വോണ്ട്സ് ഇസ് ടു ഗ്രോ ഇൻ ഹിം എവറി ഡേ ദിസ് ടേക്സ് ടു ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ലാസ്റ്റ് കളർ ഗ്രീൻ ഗ്രീൻ നമ്മൾ ഗ്രീനെ കുറിച്ച് ചിന്തിക്കുമ്പോ ഫസ്റ്റ് തിങ് നമ്മുടെ മൈൻഡ് വരുന്ന പ്ലാന്റ്സും ട്രീസ് അല്ലെ ഈ ഗ്രീൻ കളർ ഗ്രോത്തിനെയാണ് റെപ്രസെന്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് നമ്മൾ ഗോ നമ്മൾ എങ്ങനെ എല്ലാ ദിവസവും ഗോഡിൽ വളർന്നു വരുന്നത് അപ്പൊ ഈ വേർഡ് ഗ്രോ എന്നൊരു ഡെഫിനിഷൻ ഉണ്ട് ജി ഫോർ ഗോ ടു ചർച്ച് ആൻഡ് സംഡ് സ്കൂൾ ആർ ഫോർ റീഡ് ദ ബൈബിൾ ആൻഡ് പ്രേ റീഡ് ദ ബൈബിൾ ആൻഡ് പ്രേ മാത്രമല്ല ഓഫ് ഒബേ ഗാഡ് വേർഡ് and w witness to others ini ningalku or doubt varayirikkum that nammal nammal anange nammala life god ne kodukumbo namukku or pudhiya heart kittumbo nammal 100% perfect aayikkum angane alla ee kochu pilarane kandittille avaru nadakkan padikkumbo avaru palla prashnam veerum pashe avaru pinneyum ennittu nadakkan try cheyum christian life angane thaniyana നമ്മൾ പല പ്രാവശ്യം സിമിലോട്ട് ഫോളോ ആവും പക്ഷെ നമ്മൾ ഡിസ്കറേജ്ഡ് ആവാൻ പാടില്ല ഇൻ ജോൺ വൺ വസ് നയൻ ഇറ്റ്സ് ഇഫ് വി കൺഫസ് അവർ സെൻസ് ടു ഗോഡ് ഹി വിൽ കീപ് ദ പ്രോമിസ് ആൻഡ് ഡൂ വാട്ട് ഇസ് റൈറ്റ് ഹി വിൽ ഫോർ ഗിവ് അസ് അവർ സെൻസ് ആൻഡ് പ്യൂരിഫൈ അസ് ഫ്രം ഓൾ അവർ റോങ് ഡൂയിങ് അപ്പം എനിക്ക് ഈ കൺട്രിയുടെ ഒരു സിറ്റിസൺ ആവാൻ ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നു നമുക്ക് നമുക്ക് എല്ലാവർക്കും ഈ കൺട്രിയുടെ ഒരു സിറ്റിസൺ ആവാൻ ആഗ്രഹിക്കണം താങ്ക് യു എനിക്കുണ്ടൊരു പുത്തൻ പാട്ടു പാടാൻ എനിക്കുണ്ടൊരു മിത്രം കൂട്ടുകൂടാൻ എനിക്കുണ്ടൊരു സ്വന്ത നാടു പോകാൻ എനിക്കുണ്ടൊരു നല്ല വീടു പാർക്കാൻ മന്നവ മന്നൻ മനുസുതനായി മന്നിതിൽ പാപിയെ തേടി വന്നു മന്നവ മന്നൻ മനുസുതനായി മന്നിതിൽ പാപിയെ തേടി വന്നു ഉന്നത വിന്നിൻ അനുഗ്രഹങ്ങൾ ഒന്നും കുറയാതെനിക്കു തന്നു ഉന്നത വിന്നിൻ അനുഗ്രഹങ്ങൾ ഒന്നും കുറയാതെനിക്കൂ തന്നു എനിക്കുണ്ടൊരു പുത്തൻ പാട്ടു പാടാൻ എനിക്കുണ്ടൊരു മിത്രം കൂട്ടുകൂടാൻ എനിക്കുണ്ടൊരു സ്വന്ത നാടു പോകാൻ എനിക്കുണ്ടൊരു നല്ല വീടു പാർക്കാൻ ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടിനി കാര്യമില്ല നിത്യ പിതാ തൻ കരുണയിനായി ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടിനി കാര്യമില്ല നിത്യ പിതാ തൻ കരുണയിനായി ഉത്തമ സമ്പത്തെനിക്കു നൽകി ക്രിസ്തുവിലെന്നെ ധനികനാക്കി ഉത്തമ സമ്പത്തെനിക്കു നൽകി ക്രിസ്തുവിലെന്നെ ധനികനാക്കി എനിക്കുണ്ടൊരു പുത്തൻ പാട്ടു പാടാൻ എനിക്കുണ്ടൊരു മിത്രം കൂട്ടുകൂടാൻ എനിക്കുണ്ടൊരു സ്വന്ത നാടു പോകാൻ എനിക്കുണ്ടൊരു നല്ല വീടു പാർക്കാൻ ഈ പാട്ട് ഈ പാട്ട് എഴുതിയത് എം എം ഇ ചെറിയാൻ സാറാണ് അപ്പോ എന്താണ് എം ഇ ചെറിയാൻ സാറ് ഗോഡിന് വേണ്ടി ഒരു ഗ്രേറ്റ് ആളായിരുന്നു Once upon a time, there lived an old man who lived in a village. His name was Martin. 
and he had a kind heart and love for God. One night, God appeared in his dream and said to Martin that he would visit him the next day. Martin woke up in the next morning. He used all his money to buy some vegetables. He made a thirst, tasty broth for the Lord, and he waited. Then he saw an old man shivering in the cold. He gave him a pot of his tea that he had made for himself and a blanket to the old man. Then he saw an old woman who was fainting in hunger. He gave her her taste the tasty broth and some fruits and vegetables. Then the lady, the then came an, or a mother and a baby. The mother was weeping because she had no milk to give her hungry baby. Martin gave all the milk he had. Even if God came, Martin had nothing, but he had a, a little cold broth. Martin begged God and asked forgiveness. The, the room lit with a light. Uh, he's, he saw the three people who he, who he had helped. It was I, it was I, said God. And Martin was blessed that day because he had served the poor. The moral of the story is we should be kind to others and a heart, uh, we should be kind to others and be thankful for what we have. Dear Sneha, in a snake, Nithya Sneha, in a snake, Amma ye giram snehate kaal Logam nar giram snehate kaal Ange vittengum pogeyil anyan Ange chenen jivikyum nyan Sakthya sakshi ay jivikyum Nitya rakshaya lenne rakshichu Nitya rakshaya lenne rakshichu Ega rakshagane shuvinar Loga rakshagane Ninhidam cheva ange polagan Ninhidam cheva ange polagan Ininergunu punamai Mora mori da punamai Nitya nara del nechepuan Nitya nara del nechepuan Mega te radevan nido me Yeshu rajenaivan nido me Aradichidum kumbitidum yan Aradichidum kumbitidum yan Surgana da de 
ಸತ್ಯದೇವಮೇಶು ನಿತ್ಯ ಸ್ನೇಹತ ಸ್ನೇಹಿಚು ನಿತ್ಯ ಸ್ನೇಹತ ಸ್ನೇಹಿಚು ಅಮ್ಮ ಗೀಡಂ ಸ್ನೇಹತೆ
sorry. Now? Yeah, yes. Little bit audible. Oh, 
പോകേണ്ട വഴി എന്നെ കാണിക്കണേ നാടത്തനെ പോകേണ്ട വഴി എന്നെ കാണിക്കണേ ഈ കൂറിലുള്ളായാലും ഈ താഴ്വരയായാലും കൂടെ ഇരിക്കുന്നോനേ കൂറിലുള്ളായാലും താഴ്വരയായാലും എൻ കൂടെ ഇരിക്കുന്നോനേ പരിശുദ്ധനെ രാജാവെ അങ്ങേ വാത്തിടുന്നിതാ വീരന ദൈവമേ അങ്ങേ നാമിച്ചിടുന്നേ പരിശുദ്ധനെ രാജാവെ അങ്ങേ വാത്തിടുന്നിതാ വീരന ദൈവമേ അങ്ങേ നാമിച്ചിടുന്നേ Yeah. Thank you Anish for the beautiful Hello? Yeah, yeah, we can see you on the right corner. We can see you. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the screen also, right? We can see your screen and we can see you as well. Okay. So, uh, praise God. I thank the Lord for giving me an opportunity. Um, basically, uh, I mean, this is something that I guess most people have seen very long back. Um, but then this has kept me, I mean, I've drawn this picture two years back for the Kids for Jesus. But then... uh this picture really struck me every time that looking back at this picture i always remember one thing you know looking at this picture i always see that small teddy bear in that girl's hand uh that reminds me of sometimes you know you see that girl tell god that but i love this god that's how she says it so i was thinking sometimes are we like that in our lives we love things a lot people people things there are some things in this world we love a lot in our lives but then are we really ready to give it up when god tells you to she doesn't see the te- the the big teddy bear that that's behind god 
but you know she's not ready to give up that one thing that she loved so much might be that teddy bear she used to go to sleep with or she used to do a lot of i mean she might be so close to that teddy bear but god was showing me am i a person like that do i am, am i ready to give up things or even people who have and then when i'm really attached to people uh like when you're so friends oriented and when you when you get so close to friends are you really ready to give them up if god tells you to uh maybe you cannot see what lies ahead for you maybe you don't understand why you should be doing it uh but then that's that's when you show you really trust god in your life even in small things even when it's things that you love a lot sometimes in my life god also tells me to first thing he tries to move is the things that i love the most and then it comes to the least so god shows me that that is what, that is because i have so my opportunity is that i mean my opportunity my priority my my time my everything i spend with those people with the things that i love and not with god when it comes to god it becomes less so god is showing me if god tells me to give it up anything anything in this world like even if it's the whole lot degree that i got i mean at the end if i take up a lot of degrees and then god tells me to just give it up do i do that for oh god will i even do it that's something that god is questioning me and it was really encouraging to encourage you people that sometimes you might not know like the girl who didn't see that big teddy bear behind her but all she could do was just trust god uh and god always says he has a better plan for you and uh one verse was in john 13 verse 7 jesus replied you do not realize now what i am doing but later you will understand actually if you read it like uh from the beginning i mean uh, as that uh, as how jesus was washing his disciples feet you might not specifically take that verse in but then if you just go directly to that i mean separately read that verse alone you would really realize how uh you know sometimes we don't realize what god has for us it's just amazing that god tells us to trust him more even when we don't understand what happens next but that's when we show our trust towards him and uh that's that's what i wanted to sh- end up in very short message that even if you have to give up anything and everything for christ you should never never even doubt what would happen next cuz god knows what's going to happen cuz he has the best for you he's not someone who came all of a sudden and then just tell you know he's been knowing you all through the time and then he knows who you really are so it's better to give up what you have for him cuz he is the one you can always trust up no matter what so i would always encourage you guys just like this girl you should never cling on to things that you love and say god lord but i love this and you just want to be in that that most you are never come out of it but then but then you should be people who would really give up anything for christ Yeah, so that's what I want to say. Thank you.
Hello and good evening, friends. Praise God. Today, I would like to tell you about a person, a man of God who lived for 98 years and out of which he lived 78 year, 70, 70 years for uh, the service of God. The name of this great man of God was Bhakt Singh Chabra, but he was commonly known as Brother Bhakt Singh. He served the Lord for 70 years, as I earlier told you, and he planted many local churches churches in India and abroad. Brother Bhakt Singh was born on the 6th of June 1903 to very religious and rich Sikh parents. He was born into the religion of Sikhism. He was educated at a missionary school at Punjab, but the fact is that he hated every Christian student and made fun of all the Bible teachers. Once he was given a beautiful Bible as a gift, but he tore away the contents and kept the cover to himself because it was made of leather. Um, as a young boy, he had had many ambitions in his life. One was he wanted to go to England and live a smart life there. He asked his father whether he could go to England, but his father was not at all in favor of his going to England. But with his mother's persuasion, he reached England in September 1926. And there he soon lost his faith in God and in religion. He shaved his beard and got his hair cut, something that a Sikh would never dare to do. He had also joined for an agricultural engineering course there. He indulged himself into smoking and drinking and participated in all the amusement thing, amusing things that he could find. Like he went to art galleries, picture palaces, uh, museums and drinking saloons. And uh, after a while, he learned that none of these things were giving him real joy. At every self-satisfaction and self-realization, he was disappointed and disillusioned. He asked his friends whether they were happy and found that none of them were in fact really happy. He soon started to tell that the whole world is vanity of vanities. But a change did come over in the year 1928 when a party of students was going to Canada on a holiday trip. While he was uh, journeying, he attended a Christian service and in it, he felt divine power and divine joy entering him. From then on, the name of Jesus became sweet to him, but the fact is that he was not yet born again. For more than a year, for more than a year he kept silent about his experience and told no one about it, but he quit all his bad habits. After a year, he asked a friend for a Bible who gave him a copy of the New Testament. Brother Buck Singh found himself reading the Gospel of Matthew, and by the next day, he had already reached the Gospel of John. When he came to chapter 3, verse 3, it really shook him to the core. The verse read, Verily and verily I say unto you, unless a man is born again, he shall not see the kingdom of heaven. When he read this verse, he realized that he was not born again, and he cried out to the Lord, Oh Lord, I am sorry, and I need your grace, and I need your forgiveness. And the Lord was faithful enough to forgive him. Soon he lived, he come, as soon as he committed his life, he then on he lived a completely consecrated life. In 1932, he was baptized at Canada and the Lord asked him to live a life completely based on faith and to give up all his comforts. And through, the, through a vision, the Lord asked him to go to England, uh, sorry, India and uh, serve him there. In 1933, he reached Mumbai, India, where his parents were awaiting him. His parents um, told him that he could not go back to their town if he could not keep his faith a secret. Brother Bhakt Singh answered him and said that this one thing was as important to him as breathing. And there he became.
became homeless because his parents left him there. But he was not disappointed. He went around giving tracts to people and spoke to them about the way of salvation. He went on winning, winning souls for the Lord there. Soon he went to Karachi to see his sister on her request. But when she came to know that she he uh, when she came to know that he was uh, he had become a Christian, she put him out of the house again. Uh, the park became his home. There also he was not disappointed. There he went on giving tracts to people just as he had done in Mumbai. The Lord continued to use him till in 1936, revival broke out under him in Patankot, Sialkot, Punjab, and it then spread to uh, cities like Pune, Agra, Jansi, and uh, uh, places like Kedgon. But the first official assembly was started in 1941 on the 12th of July uh, at Madras, that is present day Chennai. Uh, it was started in a large isolated house with large halls, verandas, big side rooms and uh, side outhouses. Number of believers grew steadily and so did the number of churches. After the establishment of sound scriptural principles at the churches at Madras, the scene then shifted to Hyderabad in 1951. There also the first meeting place was named Elam and the second was named Hebron. There he had appointed leaders in the churches at Madras and Hyderabad. Today it is estimated at about 1000 local assemblies in India. Then missionaries were sent to America, Europe, Australia and Sri Lanka. And about 250 assemblies have been estimated in Pakistan and a few at America and all the different parts where missionaries were sent. He was a man greatly used by God. Brother Bhakt Singh suffered from Parkinson's disease since 1986, but he stayed faithful to the, to the Lord who had called him and stayed faithful till his death. Brother Bhakt Singh, slept in the Lord in, 19, in the year 2000 on the 16th of September. About two lakh people attended his funeral from across the world. Uh, I would like to stop after telling about one incident that happened in the life of Brother Bhakt Singh that shows the mighty hand of God behind his work. In, in the 1970s, Brother Bhakt Singh was on his way to catch a flight to Madras, that is present day Chennai, but just at the gate, he saw a man pleading him, rather he was requesting him to come home and pray for his child who was taken ill. And because his heart was always towards the needs of people, Brother Buck Singh made a detour, went to the man's house, prayed for the child, and then uh, he proceeded back to the airport only to find that the plane had left. His friends charged him with folly and negligence, but he was undisturbed. When he prayed, he heard an announcement that the train, the, that the flight to Madras was returning and landing. Brother Bhakt Singh boarded the plane and reached his destination. The fact is that a rich lady had forgotten her ring in the washroom and she had told the pilot that she would pay any amount of money just to return and fetch it. So this one thing is something that something great that happened in the life of Brother Bhakt Singh. He was like a city set up on the hill. And now I pray that the Lord will use all of us in these days and let us consecrate ourselves at his feet for his service. May the Lord who is able to use us be glorified through this. Thank you. Jesus, the savior of the mankind, is the main theme throughout the Bible. We would like to share some of his names portrayed in the Old Testament. Genesis. He's the creator and promised redeemer. Exodus, he's the Passover lamb. Leviticus, the high priest. Numbers, water in the desert. Deuteronomy, the prophet like Moses. Joshua, the captain of our salvation. Judges, the true judge. Ruth, our kinsman redeemer. One and two Samuel, the prophet of the Lord. Kings and Chronicles, the reigning king. Ezra and Nehemiah, the rebuilder of the broken walls. Esther, the protector of his people. Job, the almighty God revealed in the creations. Psalms, our shepherd. Proverbs and Ecclesiastes, our wisdom. Song of Solomon, the, our loving bridegroom. 
Isaiah, the, the suffering servant, Jeremiah, the righteous branch, Lamentations, the our weeping prophet, Ezekiel, the son of man. Daniel, he's the fourth man in the flaming fire. Hosea, the faithful husband. Ah, Joel, the baptizing with the Holy Spirit. Amos, our burden bearer. Obadiah, the mighty savior. Jonah, forgiving God. Mika, he is from everlasting. Nahum, our strength and shield. Habakkuk, the great evangelist, crying for revival. Zephaniah, the restorer of the remnant. Hagai, the cleansing fountain. Zechariah, the pierced son. Malachi, the, the righteous son, rising with healing power under his wings. He is also King of Kings and Lord of Lords, the Alpha and Omega, the Lion of Judah, the Word of God, the, the Bright Morning Star, the Light of the World, the Bread of Life, the Name Above All Names, the, um, the Author and Finisher of Our Faith. Hallelujah! King of Kings and Lord of Lords, glory! Hallelujah! King of kings and Lord of lords, glory, hallelujah. Jesus, Prince of Peace, glory, hallelujah. Jesus, Prince of Peace, glory, hallelujah. King of kings and Lord of lords, glory, hallelujah. King of kings and Lord of lords, glory, hallelujah. Thank you. Hey there! Say, have, sorry. have you heard the saying that he's carrying baggage from his past? Oh, avoid her baggage. But think about it. Baggage or burdens. We get it from other people, from what they say or do to us. And if we carry these things with us, in essence, we're picking up baggage. And we begin to pick up baggage when we're just little kids. Hey, there you are. Hey, oh. hey, um, Finally. can I talk to you about something? Yeah, what? Uh, we were talking about building the, the, the tree house. Yeah, tree houses, I love them. Yeah, um, here's the thing, you can't help us build a tree house. Why not? You don't really want me to tell you that. Yes, I do. Um, the gang and I, we were talking and you're too fat. What? No, I'm not fat. You wait on the tree house. No, no. Uh, Amma says I'm just big bone. <laughs> Dinosaurs are big bones. You're fat. No, uh, Amma said it lost weight. I think you found it. There you go. Bye. Then no, Amma said? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Now that's one of the biggest lies we're ever told. Words hurt and they cut deep. Now, if we carry around the words of other people, what we're essentially doing is we pick up baggage. You see, we've got to find our self-worth in Christ and our relationship with Him. And I know, this is hard. But as time goes by, we all get older and we tend to collect more baggage. But sometimes we pick up baggage from those who are very close to us. Like our best friend. Hey, Leha! You remember me? We were in the same class. I'm Parker. Oh, Parker the dancer? You nailed it. I'm the lead vocalist. My band just got from my world tour. Yeah, Patambi! Yeah, Tambi! നീയാറുന്നില്ലടാ <laughs> 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 
നീ എന്റെ ബസ് ഫ്രണ്ടിലായിരിക്കും നീ എന്തിനാ അവരോട് പോയി പറഞ്ഞു അതാ അവരറിഞ്ഞാൽ എന്താ പ്രശ്നം ഒന്ന് ഇപ്പൊരു കാര്യം and then our friends they just trying to get through life just as we are sometimes they make poor choices then it's up to us either we learn to forgive them or we pick up baggage here's something you ought to know about baggage we don't need others to load it upon us <laughs> we do a pretty good job of dumping baggage on ourselves and when we compare ourselves to others then we think why are they so gifted they're so talented but i'm not i'm no good or how can i be as popular as them when we think that we end up picking up more baggage and if we were to think why is life so easy for them and why is it so hard for me i'm never going to make it in life Then we believe that life more baggage. Yeah, that's a lot. And sometimes we pick up baggage from those who love us dearly. It's just that they don't realize that their words cut deep. Amma, can I play video games? And then, what do you like? Video games. Video game? Oh, can you guys make another? How many days to mark? But Amma, I got thirty second run. Thirty second run. ക്ലാസ്സിലെ <laughs> You see we've got to find our self worth only on our relationship with Christ and if we don't you know we pick up more baggage and it gets uncomfortable tedious and it's a natural tendency to try and dump all of this on someone else and i guarantee you this it will backfire and in the process of trying to dump this on someone else inevitably we pick up more baggage and then there's that my secret sins school i have control of who am i kidding there's a time it almost had control of me I hear Christ's words say to me, "I came that you may live, and that you may live abundantly." I don't know about you, but this, this doesn't feel like abundance to me. But then I also remember Christ saying, "Come to me, all you who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest." That, that is what I want, and I go to God. God if you're with me God please take this baggage from me God I'm miserable I cannot live this way anymore please please take this from me cast all your worries on me because I care for you and you know what he does Take off. Can you hear me? Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, all the kids, it was wonderful program, and uh, thanks a lot for all the efforts. I sat here from the beginning at five o'clock. Now it is seven fifty-one. Okay. So last two hours and fifty-one minutes. Rande mani kora ambato na minute. Yani udhi dinu da kaanu ayendo. So we are very happy. നിങ്ങളിട്ട എല്ലാ എഫേർട്സിനും അപ്രീഷ്യേറ്റ് യു ആൻഡ് ദ ഗുഡ് മെസ്സേജസ് യു പാസ്റ്റ് ഓൺ ദ ഗുഡ് മ്യൂസിക് യു പ്ലേഡ് ആൻഡ് ഗുഡ് സോങ്സ് ആൻഡ് ദ സ്കിറ്റ്സ് വിച്ച് യു പാസ്റ്റ് ഓൺ വിത്ത് ഗുഡ് വാല്യൂസ് വി ആർ റിയലി ഹാപ്പി 
and uh, may really god bless you for all those efforts you have put though ningalka a zoom in the difficulties um internet connection and difficulties um okay undengilum you managed to come at least here and there to put together the skit and that is very nice some nice messages presentations okay and from apart from also not only from kuwait also from the other parts uh, we extremely happy and that what you are doing for the lord now one one last word when uh, before we close we need to understand one thing is like um, in the skit uh, i think in one of the skits in which they were saying that okay if the video is off uh, they think that the video is off and the actual scenario back you were showing right so uh, sometimes it's tend to be that these things happen only on the skit right that you are all what you are presenting is in the skit okay the reality is far from what you showed in the skit so that's where we have to come close to the reality okay so we say okay uh, we know that we are far from reality many times that's the truth but we need to come adinde a gap korachu 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 korapondiru ennallana nammude jeevathu valare important aayittilla ennu vachal inim video aarengilum on on cheyidalum allengil adava on mute aagade line irunnalum we are not afraid because we are under person in consistency ah oru so that's very good so we need to really leave out our whatever we said uh, wonderful messages wonderful songs and uh, thanks for all those psalms 91s which you uh, memorized that's yeah, very good continue to memorize and the names and the small kids the songs okay we appreciate that so continue working on those things remember as many words of uh, word of god now because your mind is fresh right as you get older you cannot recollect uh, you cannot keep remembering all the you ask me to uh, by heart lot of psalms i try but i don't uh, i keep forgetting appo adonde namukku ipo kittuna opportunities when the memory is fresh keep learning as much as you can okay so may god bless you and and also thanks for all the efforts taken by the uh, the santa school team we really and the parents uh, thanks for the uh, the efforts you have taken and may god bless you okay right <clears throat> i think we can